to that point, uh, Annalise Parks, uh, I mean, it, it is just, it's just hot. It's, it's unbelievable, and it's going to get even hotter, right? It is, yeah. Think about that job, putting out a fire on a day yeah. like today. Right. I mean, stepping well, out in it is, is tough enough. So We had a hard time melting crayons in the oh, parking exactly. lot. You know, standing around for five minutes. Exactly, yeah. We were doing five, ten-minute <laughs> intervals, and that was about it. So be careful out there. We're talking record heat today. We hit 108 officially. So hitting 100 again, where do we stand now? 13 days so far where we've had that trip. Triple digit heat last year. We ended the year with only 10 days of 100 plus, so we've already beaten what was last year's number. On average, we have about 18 days, so we'll see where we fare by the time this is all said and done. But of course, a lot of July to go, and that's not even considering August. Take a look right now 106 for DFW, Austin at 102, Lubbock 103, our big ridge still very much over us as the major heat across the nation is centered over Texas. So we do stay dry, keeping that blue sky, but also keeping the dangerous heat. Excessive heat warning. We will see this now extended until Sunday evening. So we've got three more days after today where you're talking about temperatures of 105 plus, heat indices of 110 plus. And that is why we're trying to emphasize just how dangerous this is. You don't get these excessive heat warnings often, and you certainly don't get numbers that are this high often either. 106 McKinney, Dallas 108, as well as Denton. How about Bridgeport 109, Graham at 110? They're just unbelievable numbers. Sulfur Springs. At 104. And then, as far as what it feels like out there, temperatures feeling like 110 plus. Lots of 111s. That includes Dallas, Waxahachie, Denton, uh, 111. Feels like 108 around Bridgeport. So take it easy through the rest of tonight. And as we look ahead tomorrow, we're going to have to be careful once again because tomorrow, believe it or not, is going to be hotter than today. About 109. Not very much wind, plenty of sunshine. Now, I do have some good news. We've got to get through the weekend. Looking ahead to next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, finally that large high is going to be pushing back across western portions of the country. That's going to allow a front to head into the region. Really low rain chances. That's not really our big focus because I don't think we get much rain from these fronts. But the bigger story is the fact that finally the major heat is going to break down. We'll see temperatures that get into the 90s by the time we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I do think we'll have some low rain chances perhaps as we look ahead to next weekend. So hang in there. A rough stretch for us, but at least some relief is in sight. For tonight, 83 degrees. Tomorrow's temperature about 109. Mostly sunny. Excessive heat warning continuing on Friday and Saturday. 110, guys. We went ahead and bumped that number up. A couple more record-breaking days and certainly the hottest it's been here in many years. Thank you, Annalise. The challenge is on.